Hans, congratulations. You just won your round one game against Liam Froelich. Um, tell us a bit about what happened in the start uh, of the game. Yeah, he followed um, for a while one of my games against Fabiano Caruana from the US Championship uh, up until the move E takes D4 and uh, had a game in Grand Swiss also at the same line uh, where I deviated. Uh, instead of knight BD2, I played bishop B3, which I, I won that game. But um, yeah, it's funny. I played this line for both colors, so I was quite familiar. And uh, before the tournament, uh, a friend of mine told me about this idea. And uh, I checked it, but I probably should have checked it a bit more closely. Um, and essentially, uh, after I played um, bishop f4, knight f4, queen d2, here, uh, uh, knight uh, de is also fine, but he could have gone you know, knight g6, and it's a whole long line. And he played d4, rook e4, knight g6, but bishop b3. And here, um, he played bishop b5, which I, I was looking at it, I was like, that's a normal move, but the move that I prepared is bishop takes b3, a takes b3, a bishop b6, rook a e1, uh, queen d5, h4, f5, rook e2. And after rook e2, it's essentially the same position, but uh, the, there's two differences. First of all, my pawn is on uh, a uh, a2 instead of b3, which actually opens this uh, you know diagonal a2 b8, you know a2 g8 for a check, and also uh, the, the the rook is on uh, d8 instead of bishop on b6. So maybe then, uh, as I played in the game, um, the c7 pawn is is was not protected. So I had essentially known this entire idea of h4, f5, rook back to e2. And then I remember just some insane stuff. Uh, with again, with the bishop on b6 and pawn on b3, I remembered uh, somehow I sacrifice a pawn. I sacrifice the h pawn. And then I get like uh, knight against bishop, and then I have some initiative. Uh, but uh, I was very happy with this move, queen c2. I thought this was just such a subtle move. Um, but there was actually, he could have... Um, perhaps played bishop takes d4 first. Um, the point being that like, if I play h5 now, now he can play f4. And if f4, knight e4, knight e5, and he avoids his queen c2 idea. So after um, um, bishop takes, uh, if, yeah, I think after knight e4, he just miss underestimated queen c2. And then after bishop takes d4, I was thinking, okay, h5, and he plays f4. Um, and then knight e4, knight e5. Uh, I was trying to figure this out, but I was pretty confident that it should be good because I could even play like knight takes d4, queen d4, queen takes uh, a5, and if f3 I have rook d2. So I, I, I was confident at least that I knew that in the position where he plays bishop b3, a b3, queen d5, this is like very slight advantage. So I thought that it has to be a much better version to have the pawn in a2 and this uh, different setup. So. I think he just, um, already after queen takes c7, it looked quite difficult because um, I th was struggling to find a move. Uh, maybe if he plays rook c8, I just play queen d6. So, okay, of course, queen c6 loses uh, on the spot. Maybe queen c6 without uh, a rook d7, but then I can just play queen takes a5. So I think that my knights are just too strong. This bishop is quite bad, and uh, this king is, is way too weak. Your game was the first to end of the tournament. It's also your first time here in Vikansee. I guess it's the perfect start to your event. Yeah, I don't mind. It's quite nice. Uh, I have to give a lot of credit to the person who <laughs> found this idea. Is it a secret who it is? Yes, yes definitely. Um, but I really was struggling to find an idea against this line. And it was just given to me. So uh, I'm very lucky that uh, I will be very grateful. Uh, uh, because it's, it's very rare to just win the game out of the opening. And it's really nice that I could just know like the first 20 moves and all the ideas. Of course, it was not concrete, but it was very nice. Uh, it's very nice to have that type of game uh, because I don't think there were any, any, any serious mistakes. The person you're talking about, um, was that a random or can you talk about, is that the person who's helping you throughout the tournament? Do you have no, a second a general, here? Like, training partner, you know, a friend of mine, just a really great, you know, opening analyst uh, was just told me this idea. And uh, okay, I, was, I listened, <laughs> but I was a bit, uh, I should have checked it a lot. I'm sure that this game is in the file, but I did not, uh, I was not that, uh, I should have checked it uh, better. Can you reveal if you brought a second uh, to Vikanze or in general a little bit about what your preparation for no, the tournament looked like? I quite like to be in these depressing places alone because I actually uh, don't really mind. I think everyone was telling me you need to bring a second, you need to bring someone. Uh, 
But I honestly find these sites of city so peaceful because I just never leave the hotel. I just order delivery food. I have not. I don't leave the hotel. It's just very peaceful. So I don't mind playing. Uh, the better, the more depressing the city, the, the more focused you are. So that's what, how I like it. You've only been here for a couple of days, yet you already know it's a depressing place. Who told no, you that? No, no, no. For other people, it's depressing. But for me, who just uh, is very happy to uh, hibernate in my hotel room only to leave to pick up my delivery food, it's very peaceful. What are your first impressions then, if not of the village, uh, of the playing hall and uh, the atmosphere? The playing hall is nice. Yeah, I was worried in the beginning that it would be a bit loud uh, because I noticed quite a bit of noise, but it calmed down. Um, I think it's also good to have this barrier because I've played certain tournaments where the spectators certainly get a bit out of hand. Uh, so I was very happy to see the arbiters doing a good job uh, stopping people from, you know, taking photos or doing that. So uh, the noise is a bit uh, to adjust, but once you get into the game, uh, you don't really notice it. And the final question for now, uh, you are the top seed in the challengers. I imagine that your goal is to win it and get promoted to the Masters. Yeah, yeah, I think I've said that, answered that question about five times now. So yes, th uh, that is my that is my goal. Well, and what a great start, Hans! Thank you very much, and best of luck. Yeah, thank you.